Hello, YouTube world. Pacific Truffle Growers here, Stephanie Jarvis, coming at you with some electroculture techniques we're going to install here in the orchard today as an experiment. Yes, we're gonna try some hippie stuff. We've been having issues with irrigation and I've been doing a deep dive on electroculture where we're going to bring energy in from the atmosphere into the orchard, which is going to increase fertility of the soils and um, make it so that the trees don't need as much water or as much fertilizer. Um, not that we actually fertilize here in the orchard in the first place, but you can see it's a beautiful day here in Hillsburg, California. And if you'd like to do a 15 minute free consultation call with me, link below please like and subscribe and ding the bell to get the whistles and uh let's go install some electroculture here we go is it sturdy Yeah, put it down, what, eight inches? Six inches deep, maybe? Yeah, and it's got the copper wire going straight up into the sky, and this tree that it's next to looks really sad. So we're gonna see if this is gonna make it look happy. <laughs> Plus the wires, we're gonna set wires at the base of each tree along this one row of 10 trees. So we have copper wire. I picked green, um, what is this stuff called on it? Casing, plastic sheathing, insulation, insulation whatever. And um, we cut them, I don't know, Two, two and a half feet long and then I'm just gonna put them on the ground so that the wires are overlapping but not touching overlapping but not touching I'm just gonna leave it there you see this is for gophers we've been trapping gophers out here and uh, now we're gonna do some electroculture Cool. Here's another one we installed. Another wire. Just here. And we'll just see, these are gonna go into winter. So we'll just see how they come out next spring. So this was really easy to do, really easy to make, and not expensive. I spent 50 bucks on wire today. I'm gonna do this tree. This tree is probably dead. I'm gonna do this tree. Just place the wire around the tree and make sure the wires are not touching but overlapping and we're gonna do this little tree over here looks like they could be going into winter early that's okay so I'm just gonna yeah make sure they overlap I mean, I don't need any special equipment. So something I forgot to mention is that the openings of your wires, you want them to be facing north. So I had them facing south. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to rotate them. If you can see me rotating it. The orientation of my rows is north-south and I had all the openings facing south. So now I'm gonna fix it. So all the openings of these wires I just installed, 
face north. Super simple fix. So I just learned about magnetic declination. So go to NOAA and figure out where your north-south orientation is and make sure your wires are all open to the north. Okay. Yeah, so we don't need any special equipment. Just some wire cutters and bought some copper wire. I'm gonna make a couple triangles, pyramids to bring out to the orchard. And um, we're doing this one row here of 10 trees. Each tree is getting its own wire loop of copper wire. And then um, um, the one pole with the copper wire running up it like um, a vortex with uh, a couple inches coming out the top, going straight due north. And then we're gonna come back with some magnets um, in wrapped in beeswax with some um, galvanized steel that we're gonna put at the trees, uh, probably a different row um, with the north-south orientation to do uh, phase two of electroculture um, experiment here in this orchard. And then y'all are just gonna have to wait till next spring to see how it turns out. So, all right, thanks for watching and um, Please like and subscribe and ding the bell to get the whistles. And again, if you want to talk to me about growing truffles, please, all my um, information's below. All right, enjoy the day, everyone. Go be a fun guy.